We usually think of mammoths as roaming in huge herds across vast open lands. But some of them lived in the most restricted environments of all, islands. There, over tens of thousands of years, the process of evolution helped these giants to survive by shrinking them. How did they get to islands in the first place? Some just swam if the islands weren't too far away. Climate played a role too. During ice ages, sea levels dropped as more water was taken up in glaciers. That exposed the seafloor around some islands, so mammoths could just walk across. But unfortunately, when water levels rose again, the mammoths were sometimes stranded on their islands and cut off from their original herds. Over time, animals in the isolated populations became smaller. Why? When you're small, you need less food to survive, which is helpful in places where the food supply is limited. Being smaller also makes you nimbler, good for climbing steep slopes to find food. Finally, being big helps you fight off predators, but most islands don't have large predators. So, with no need to be big, island mammoths, through the process of evolution, shrink. And mammoths weren't the only ones. Other proboscideans, such as pygmy elephants in the Mediterranean islands, pygmy stegodons in Indonesia, and pygmy Asian elephants in Borneo today, all shrink when isolated on islands. In fact, many kinds of animals all over the world have distinct species that resulted from this island dwarfism. And so, the great big powerful mammoth provides us with a small but mighty example in the pygmy mammoth of how species adapt to changing environments through the process of evolution.